12 months on from the five-winner hole that saw him crowned leading trainer at the meeting for a second time, the bad news for Willie Mullins' rivals is that his squad for the 2014 festival is shaping up to be even stronger. A staggering 50-plus horses could represent the Irish champion over the four days, and none will be as familiar with the journey to the Cotswolds as the record-breaking Cavega. The diminutive 10-year-old brought the house down when landing a fifth Dave Nicholson mare's hurdle last March and remains on course to bid for an incredible six-timer in the two-and-a-half-mile contest next month. She's been very good this year. We've had a little hold-up the last week. Uh, I wasn't happy with her. Um, I've been ahead of schedule up to now, and I gave her four or five days just walking, and she's back riding now, and I'm happy with her. And um, you know, I think I had plenty done with her. I had her well ahead of schedule, so I'm delighted that's the way it worked out. And um, you know, we're looking forward to going back over there. Votour leapt to the head of the market for the Supreme Novices following his Grade One success at Leopardstown earlier this month. And despite a suspicion he could be better over further, Mullins is looking forward to unleashing the French import in the festival opener. He's a sharp jumper, which you need for the Supreme. A lot of people looking at would say he's more a stayer than a, a speed horse, but the Supreme takes a lot of staying, and you've got to jump as well. The two miles they do in the Supreme Novice is a very searching, testing two miles, and I think his jumping is what uh, will be the key. Last year's bumper hero, Briar Hill, is sure to carry strong stable confidence as he bids to retain his unbeaten record in either the Neptune or Albert Bartlett, while Champagne Fever, who preceded him on the Roll of Honour for the Day 2 finale, will attempt to complete a remarkable festival hat-trick in Tuesday's Arkle. I think he jumps well enough. He loves Cheltenham, so we decided that we're going for the Arkle because, you know, we've put a few things together, we've thought about it, and said maybe this is the race for him. He loves Cheltenham. He does jump well enough. We don't have to make the running, um, but he likes a good gallop. There's always a real good gallop in the Arkle. Uh, so we might... Just let him take his chance there. We'll have more from Willie in part two next week, including his thoughts on Hurricane Fly's prospects of capturing a third champion hurdle and the exciting mayor who has everyone talking, Annie Power. <laughs>